What's up, citizens of Gotham? You're making it great again just by watching this video. Oh man, so we've all known about Russia, 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 right? They hacked, they hacked, they hacked our election. We know, we know that now. Oh, wait a minute. How the Department of Homeland Security created a deceptive tale of Russia hacking of U.S. voter sites. Oh, wow. This was submitted by Patreon supporter Adam Martin. Adam, thank you so much for supporting the show. Uh, folks, I've added some more to this is for at the $5 Patreon tier. You get to submit an article or a topic once a month, and I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, unless you submit some crazy bullshit, then I'll spend 10 minutes making fun of you. Your choice. It's your five bucks. It's a cup of coffee. Come on. I drink green tea. I don't drink coffee. Um, so the real story behind that narrative, recounted here for the first time, reveals that the Department of Homeland Security created and nurtured an account that was grossly, deliberately deceptive. This is a very lengthy article. It is in the show notes. I suggest you go through it here, but I'm going to show you what they did. The Department of Homeland Security created this. Remember that? Created by Bush after 9-11, and then Obama expanded it, made us more of a surveillance state. It's good stuff, right? Both parties working to help the people. Behind that sensational story was a federal agency seeking to establish its leadership within the national security state apparatus on cybersecurity despite its limited resources for such responsibility. In late summer and fall of 2016, the Department of Homeland Security was maneuvering politically to designate state and local voter registration databases and voting systems as critical infrastructure. Thank God we're not spending money on actual infrastructure. Thank God we've got all these fucked up roads and floods and oil pipelines that are leaking. Let's keep those all fucked up and let's go after cyber security infrastructure, which is an excuse to watch all of us. The NSA is watching this now on either my smart TV or the camera. So hi, NSA. Hey, be a whistleblower. NSA, you're in some room somewhere. Do the right thing. If the more Edwin, if everyone became an Edward Snowden, the world would be a better place. I know you have it in your heart, NSA. I know somebody at the NSA right now knows this isn't right. You're not doing this for justice and freedom. You're fucking over regular people. Do the right thing. But thanks for watching and go to my Patreon page, NSA. Um, <laughs> so such a designation would make voter related networks and websites under the protection of a priority subsector in the DHS National Infrastructure Protection Plan, which already included 16 such subsectors. They want to rig voting. Department of Homeland Security wants to control voting. That's what that means. DSH Security Jay Johnson and other DSH officials consulted with many state election officials in the hope of getting their approval for such a designation. Meanwhile, the Department of Homeland Security was finishing an intelligence report that would both highlight the Russian threat to the U.S. election infrastructure and the role that they could play in protecting it. Oh, it's like an old mob shakedown. I'm like a local neighborhood mobster. I come to your little your cafe, your little business, and I go, yeah, you better pay me protection, otherwise someone's gonna break in. You don't pay me protection, weird. There's a break in that night. Then I show up the next day, I make sure that'll never happen again. That's what they're doing. <sighs> Um, thus creating political impetus for the designation. But several secretaries of state, the officials in charge of the election infrastructure in their state, strongly opposed the designation that Johnson wanted. Wow, politicians actually standing up. See what they're doing? Like, let's, if we're gonna, like, that's the thing. Like, I always said this from day one. If we're gonna investigate the Russia tampering with the election, then let's investigate fucking all of it. Investigate the DNC, investigate everything, you know? And it's funny, like, when people who are critical of WikiLeaks, well, why doesn't he put out any bad stuff from Trump? Uh, all WikiLeaks does is get whatever information is given to him. Let's go through all the Podesta emails. Let's see both. Let's do, let's do did the Republican Party do gerrymandering? Did they do voter suppression? Then let's investigate that. 
Let's investigate the Republicans' voter suppression. Let's investigate the DNC's uh, blatant fucking scamming in their own primary. Let's investigate all of it. These assholes trying to create their own new secret voter scam, NSA task force, whatever the fuck they're calling it. Jack wagons that they are. Jack wagons. Since May 2017, the DHS, in partnership with the FBI, oh, thank God they're working together, um, has begun an even more ambitious campaign to focus public attention on what it says are Russian targeting and intrusions into major high-value assets that operate components of our nation's critical infrastructure. I have no doubt that Russia is trying to hack us and spy on us. I have no doubt that they are, and we're spying on them. And we spy on our own citizens even more. And we rig elections here and abroad. So let's just cut the bullshit that we're the good guys and there's one bad guy out there and it's, pl it's Putin. Cut the shit. Wake up. Wake up to all of it. Because um, here's what they want to do. They, op well, they want to intrusions into major high-value assets that operate components of our nation's official infrastructure, including energy, nuclear, water, aviation, and critical manufacturing sectors. They just told you right there, they just told you right there, this is what they want to monitor, all of this. They want to, now, we need to protect you from a hack. Okay, yeah, people could hack us. That's a legitimate cyber threat. The next war they're saying will, will be a cyber war. But look at this. And I wouldn't put it past these assholes to go false flag. We've been cyber hacked by North Korea or China. We need to invade them. Because they control this and they can make it look like. We're already seeing information has come out. They make it look, the NSA has software to make it look like the Russians hacked us. Any evidence of such an intrusion would be taken seriously by the U.S. government and reported by news media. But in light of the DHS record of alleged threats to election infrastructure and the Burlington power grid and its well-known ambition to assume leadership over cyber protection, the public interest demands that the news media examine DHS claims about Russian cyber threats far more critically than they have up to now. Yeah, let's get some goddamn citizen oversight. Let's get this, 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 is, this is just, we're letting the surveillance state just rule everything. And they always just, oh, it's a scam, and they'll create some cyber false flag. Some digital Gulf of Tonkin will happen and then they'll pull this bullshit on us. Well, some fucking NSA guy can come crawling through this camera and just choke me to death because I'm talking the truth to people. <sighs> oh, thanks for watching the show, you guys. Please go to the Patreon to support it. We just crossed over 10,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you so much. That took forever to do because they were throttling my numbers. But um, it's great having everybody involved. Come out to the Stay in Your Lane comedy show at the Corbin Bowl in Tarzana, October 20th. Progressive comedy tour with Ron Placone, Northern California, November 2nd and 3rd. And progressive comedy tour in Florida, January 9th through 12th. All the tour dates are at GrahamElwood.com. Thank you so much for making Gotham great again.